Hi everyone, I thought I would create a video with a sample of me reproducing someone else's logo from scratch uh, and including how to do a manual trace in, as part of the process. Uh, like I've been saying in class, recreating someone else's logo is a good way to just look, you know, have a go with Illustrator and learn the tools. So I've created an empty project. Now I'll go to File and Place and I am going to bring in the West Coast Eagles logo. I am nothing if not predictable. All right, and I want my normal selection arrow. I'm going to click and resize. Now this is just a raster or bitmap image of the West Coast Eagles logo, which means it will pixelate, as you can see. But that's okay because this is not what's going to be used. We're going to create our own over the top of it and keep that and then this we're just going to delete. Now uh, just for the purpose of brevity I'm only going to recreate the head portion now uh, but obviously I'd use the same steps if I wanted to recreate the rest of it. Now I'm going to pull up my layers menu and I am going to double click it and say here I want to dim my image to about 50% you can obviously change the percentage so that when I'm drawing over the top of it, I can see my own drawing. It stands out different to the original logo. I want to create a new layer, which is where I will do my drawing. And then I'm going to, next to the little visibility symbol, there is another toggle here for, which produces a little padlock. And that will help make sure I don't accidentally do anything on the layer that has my bitmap image. Um, so I'm only working off layer 2 now. So now that, that can go away. And I'm going to get my pen tool. And I don't want a background at the moment, so I'm going to click my fill colour and say none. Then I'm going to click my stroke. Double click the... oops. Alright, let's bring my stroke back. Okay, double click this and I want a dark blue. All right now, in terms of studying this logo, I can see that there's probably three main parts to this. There is this uh, orange shape inside here, uh, orange field shape with the blue edging. Then there's a, a solid blue shape in here. And then there's the yellow beak. So I'm going to create those three shapes, one on top of each other, and that will produce my logo. All right, now, I don't want a stroke of one. I probably want a stroke of, let's see, if I have a line of about 10. Yeah, that looks about good enough. Okay. So, starting from the end here. Yeah, probably about here. To... Okay, so I want this part straight, so about there, and then I'm going to want that to curve to here. So I'm going to click and hold, and you can see now that I'm bending it to make my curve. All right, so I only need it bent a little, so about there, and let go. Now, from here, I want a straight line across here but I've got the handle for my curve. So to get rid of that, I'm just going to click, uh, hover until it says anchor, which you can see there it does in green now, and now I click, and that, that little handle has disappeared, so it's going to produce a straight line from this point instead of a curved line. So I'm going to come up to the end here and click there. Now, is this straight or curved? I'm going to call it just a little bit curved. All right, now this line, is going to intersect with this line about here, I think. So click, hold, and again pull out to get my curve. And then, let's see, down here, click. Okay, so we can see we're going to have to reshape that curve a little bit, but I, I do want it as a curve, so that's why I didn't click on the anchor to turn it into a straight line. All right, but I can fix it up in a second. So I'm going to let go. 
And now this one is going to, now this is not one straight curve. You notice that it curves this way first, and then it curves that way. So about the halfway, I'm going to, I know I'm going to want to change direction. So I'm going to click here and hold and make this curve do what I want. Something like that. And now I'm going to come up to my original anchor to close the image, click. And do I need to do anything to this curve? Probably not. It's about what I need. So now I'm going to let Oh, let's just fix that a little. Now let go. And there we go. So the only thing I need to fix is this point here. All right. So you don't need to worry if your shape to begin with is not how you're wanting, as long as your anchors are in the key, the key spots that you know you're going to need them. All right. So to fix this curve, I'm going to get my direct selection tool. Come back over here and click on this anchor. And you'll see it produces my two handles. Now, gotta make hang on a sec. Uh, I'm editing the moving the wrong handle. Oh, this is the one that I want. Hang on, what am I doing? Aha. No, ooh, sometimes this can get a little fiddly, especially. I'm trying to use the trackpad on the mouse instead of a proper mouse. All right, so I'm going to cheat and fix this up a different way because my trackpad is causing me all sorts of grief. So I'm going to get my pen tool, click and hover, and I'm going to say add anchor point. All right, and I'm going to force it into the right place. Okay, please use add anchor point on a segment of the path. All right, so I can't click in the middle of nowhere because it doesn't know well which part of the line are you actually wanting over there. Is it this part of the line that you want to suddenly move over there? So I'm going to click here. I'm on the path. And the green word path tells me. So I'm going to click there. Now I'm going to get my direct selection, and I'm going to grab that anchor point. Click and hold and pull that up where I want it until my curve is the way I want it. And there we go. And now just to make sure I use my pen tool again, I'll revert that back to pen instead of add anchor point. Okay, I'm happy enough with that. Now if I was to come over here and change my fill to an orange, that's what I'd have. All right, so let's just Revert that back to nothing for now. And just so I'm not fiddling um, on top of everything again, I'm going to create another layer, a lock layer too for now. All right, so that is my orange section. Now I need to create this blue section to cover over some of the orange. All right, so I've got my pen tool. Now I can use the same anchor points as you can see, uh, but I don't actually want to because I want yellow to the orange to kind of go up to the edge. So I'm going to click here, up to about here, click holding, pulling out to get my curve, let go. Now that's going to come down where this one intersects about here. Click, hold. Again, I'm probably going to have to fix that up a bit. Click, hold. All right, if I can pull that out enough. About there. Click, hold. There. Can't fix that one up on the spot either. All right, now this one, I oh, pretty well want to replicate my existing lines. Click, hold. Click, hold. Let go. All right, and now then that. I've got to fill in with a dark blue. Now obviously 
theoretically I'd want the exact same shade of blue, which I can get by double click here, grab my color code, copy, go back to my fill, paste. All right, does this need fixing up a bit? Let's just put in another anchor point there anyway. Direct selection tool, shift that to about there. Nope. Try that again. Shift that to about there. There we go, that's better. All right. There's my blue shape. Now I've just got to do the beak. I'm going to create another layer yet again. Oops. All right, layer four. Hide the layers. Uh, pen tool. Let's turn off the fill. Okay. So beak from oops. Um, I've got my add anchor instead of pen. So there we go, back to pen. Alright, let's start this from about here. Click. It's going to change direction. Well, I guess it doesn't actually even change direction until here. I could make that. If I click and hold, I should be able to make this one big gnarly curve. It's not quite right, but it's good enough for today's exercise. Which means now I just need to click back on my original anchor to close the shape. Click, hold, and all right, let's undo that because what I should have done back here was click on this original anchor to get rid of one of those handles. And now I can come back to my original this anchor here to finish the shape. Click and hold, make my curve. Let go, and we are basically done. Right, let's get my fill. So, click on double click in there. Let's make this a nice bright yellow. Okay, let's we've got the blue. All right, let's go to the overall one. Let's just get my selection tool. All right. We pick this shape, where are we? This is on, oh, I've got the padlocks on. Time to turn those off. All right, click that shape. I want to give this shape, double click it, um, an orange color. Okay, click off. And now let's go finally back to our layers turn off the underground and it's not perfect but there is a west coast eagles beak from beginning to end all right so delete my original layer that was underneath yes now these three are done i can then flatten it merge them into one layer if i want to um, and i can export it and do whatever I want with it. All right. So it's all about learning the pen tool. Welcome to Illustrator. Thanks, guys.